Three easy steps for prepping MediaSoft for your ICD-10 using version 19 or higher. Step 1. Go to ICD-10 Tools, Services. Set ICD version. Before you go live with ICD-10, set up all your insurance companies to ICD-9, just like that. By selecting all, then click Update. Step 2. Go to the ICD-10 mapping. You have two options, one-to-one -one mapping, which means one ICD-9 has one ICD-10. Select as many as you need in this category, just like that. Once you hit Create, those codes will disappear from this screen and get pushed to your diagnosis list. Step 3. Is the other mapping which the one-to-many, which means one ICD-9 has two or more of the ICD-10. This is just some of the examples. Now I'm going to show you how to look up an ICD-10 from an old ICD-9. Let's go to the diagnosis list, and now you can see that I have two checkboxes, one for the ICD-9 and the other for ICD-10. I am going to uncheck the ICD-9 off and turn on the ICD-10. Then I'm going to search by the ICD-9 code. I'm going to search for 250.8. Then it will give me all my options for ICD-10 now for this code. Now we can enter some ICD-10 billing. Now remember, I have all my insurance companies are set up to ICD-9. I'm going to enter ICD-10 codes by searching or having the provider tell me what code to enter. Now I'm going to show you the claim was downgraded from ICD-10 to ICD-9 because I told Mediasoft I wanted my insurance to be on ICD-9. Once you find out your insurance company and your clearinghouse is ready, now go to the setting and change your payer to ICD-10. Pick a date, and now that claim will stay with the ICD-10 codes, just like that. Make sure you read my Mediasoft ICD-10 white paper for more depth on how to get ready for ICD-10. Thank you for business to Microwise, and thank you for watching.